Hey guys, this is Introducing Emmy, and today we're going to be doing fan art. Well, actually, this is going to be more like a series um, of fan art, <laughs> because I don't think there's any way I'm going to be able to get this all done in um, one sitting. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's a little early in the morning, so my voice might sound not so awesome. I'm just going to get things ready here while I chatter away. Uh, but uh, we're going to be doing fan art for a game called The Binding of Isaac. Uh, a lot of people are probably pretty familiar with it at this point. I've been wanting to do fan art for it for like a month now and I just haven't really had time. Um, and uh, this is the character Isaac. Uh, and the items that I'm going to be drawing him with are the belt, mom's lipstick, uh, the bent or bending spoon, the hanger, um, the onk, uh, the holy grail, right? The holy grail or the chalice and um, Stigmata. Um, let me see here. But like I was saying, this is probably going to be a series because there's just no way I'm going to be able to get it all done and I would like to do it in color. Um, but first we're going to start just black and white. Also, I'm a little nervous <laughs> about doing this because um, well, about having the refs on the screen because I don't want I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> I don't want the uh, creators of the game to come after me. This is going to be really loosey-goosey at first. I think I'm going to... He's going to be more like a scrawny adult male kind of, I think, <laughs> rather than... Um, I think he's supposed to be a child or a baby. Um, sorry, my doggies, these other doggies outside, and they're upsetting her. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I've been wanting to do fan art for Isaac for a while now. Um, I first started watching this one guy do Let's Plays of it. And I can't think of his name, but he has like a huge, huge ongoing series of Isaac at this point. I'm not sure uh, what his name is, though. I'd have to look him up again. Um, oh, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> But um, then uh, I started watching uh, Paragon Nova was doing um, a playthrough of it. Well, not really a playthrough. He's, he kind of just does the best he can for a while, and then <laughs> it kind of stops. Um, and then I've been watching Pause on Pause do his playthroughs of it, which are really, really good. I like his playthroughs because he, he explains the items, and uh, he sort of shows you, like, good techniques on how to use them and everything. Um, I've actually, you're all going to yell at me, but I've actually never played the game. Uh, mostly because I don't have a lot of time to play games these days, which is why I watch so many Let's Plays. I actually really, really enjoy video games. I just, like I said, I don't have much time to play them anymore because um, I'm busy drawing. Um, but this is one of those games that I would love to have and play. <laughs> um, I don't know if I'd be any good at it, but uh, I really like want him to be like holding himself like. And I think I'm going to cut them off, actually, like, right, right there. I love games that have, like, a lot of symbolism in them, um, whether they're serious or not, you know. Um, I guess you could argue that Isaac is not a very serious game, but I don't know. The symbolism's pretty serious. <laughs>
Awesome. Sorry if I forget. I know I get a lot of complaints about being too quiet and stuff when I draw. Um, part of the reason is, is because I'm thinking. <laughs> and I need to stop and have a breather every now and then to think about what my next thing is going to be. Um, so lately I've been getting a lot of messages from people asking me to draw their Minecraft avatars. Um, it's really, really sweet that you guys would like me to, but I can't do it. <laughs> um, the only reason I'm doing it for the Minecraft guys is because they give me hours and hours of entertainment while I'm watching them, uh, or while I'm working. And, uh... It's, you know, my way of giving back to them as best I can. You know, I don't really... I can't always donate money to them if they allow for donations and things like that. So this is, like, my way of giving back to them. Um, if you'd really, really like me to draw your Minecraft avatar and record it for my channel, you can always pay me. <laughs> um, but right now I'm not taking any private commissions. So... This isn't really a hobby for me. I mean, it is fun after hours to do stuff like this, do fan art and whatever, but in general, this is my job. And I can't be drawing for everybody, because then I would have no time to draw for me. Oh my goodness, I mean, what are you doing? <laughs> I hate when I do that, when I like, uh, everybody does it. You draw one angle for too long and the whole image starts to shift. <clears throat> How big is this? Oh, that's why I'm like, this is way too small. Blemo. There we go. So let me think here. Okay, so... Speaking of pause and pause, I'm pretty sure he's going to be my next guy to do in the live stream along with Kurt and <sighs> it was either Anderzel or maybe Argus. I can't remember. It's with an A. It was one of them. Um... Maybe I shouldn't have his hands up in front of his chest because then you're not going to be able to see, um, see the onk. So let's do this. Oops. <laughs> no, I don't want to go into my start menu. Uh, but if anybody wants to get me the game, <laughs> I was just thinking, if anybody wants to donate $6 or whatever to buy me um, Isaac and the Wrath of the Lamb expansion, my Steam name is Introducing Emmy, <laughs> just like my YouTube username, no spaces, 1M and Emmy. <laughs> if you don't want to do that, you can at least friend me. Friend me on Steam. 
I'll be your pal. I know I say this every time, but I apologize if you can hear my jog, or her jog, my dog jing jingling behind me. I've been um, opening the window a lot lately and she likes to go and look out the window. See what everybody's been up to. It's actually um, pretty early in the morning here. It's getting on to 6, 6 a.m. I usually get up around 4, 4.30 in the morning. She's like, are you talking about me? I just realized Isaac doesn't have eyebrows. Um, <laughs> I think what we're going to do is we're going to draw one side of his head and then mirror it over. And if I do that, I might give him mom's contact lens just to throw off the balance a little bit. So he has like one eye that's like way bigger. My doggie is getting a drink. Schlock, schlock, schlock. Oh my god, stop! Stop drinking! Ew. Oh, and he doesn't have a nose either. Oh my goodness. So I think, I don't often do this, but I'm going to dedicate this piece to, um, pause on pause. <laughs> and I hope he sees this. Though he's probably going to be like, uh, thanks. <laughs> Thanks for drawing me a haggard little child of the night. <laughs> oh, I'm always so worried that I'm not recording. I keep looking over at my... Uh... I may or may not draw him with a nose, because he doesn't have one, I, and I know he's supposed to be human, but, uh... I swear to God, if she's going to drink more water, I'm going to smack her. <laughs> no, I would never do that. She's my little baby girl. My little baby girl. Bum, bum. Oh, a lot of people have been asking also about um, if I'm going to be getting Empathy, my dark gothic art book got the core art book reprinted and I probably will um, very soon here. Um, 
I'm not sure. I might do, <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this. I might do pre-orders for a reprinting because um, I have to pay for the printing first and then you guys get it after me. And um, so I don't, like, I can't just spend money out of pocket getting books reprinted and stuff. Um, so I'm going to have to figure out a way to do that. Basically, um, every book that I produce or publish, um, I always do a Kickstarter or some kind of a fundraiser for it ahead of time or take pre-orders or something just because I can't afford to go right out of hand, right out of pocket. Okay, let's get rid of that line. He doesn't have a gap in his teeth like me. <laughs> I love my gap. I think it makes me special. I had a guy one time, he sent me a message on Tumblr, and he was like, do you really have a gap in your teeth? Why do you always draw yourself with a gap in your teeth? And and stuff. And I could tell he was trying to imply that it like made me look bad. <laughs> like, it made me look ugly. And I was like, oh, I like my gap. It wasn't um, until I moved to California that I always had people commenting on the gap in my front teeth. Um, and I, up until then, I didn't realize that it was a quote-unquote problem. <laughs> and it isn't, actually. It's not. It's not a problem. I like my gap. My mom has one, too. It's unlike my mom. But I always had, uh, I remember the first time I went to a dentist out here in SoCal, we were living near LA and he was like, oh, you know, you really should get braces. We should, you know, push your two front teeth together and close that gap or, you know, we can do veneers and close it. And I remember, and I said to him, I said, oh, well, why? And he goes, well, just, you know, so it looks better. And I'm like, well, I don't think that looks better. <laughs> They're my teeth, man. I'm gapping it up. Not like the gap. I'm not going to be wearing any Hager slacks anytime soon. It's always funny what people find attractive and what they don't. You know, things that you're used to that you find very attractive. Other people are just like, bah! <laughs> I've always used um, the Adams Family as my guide to what I find attractive and not attractive. I was just telling my husband the other day we were re-watching the first two movies. They're some of my all-time favorite films. And I remember I said, I just love them because they find things beautiful that others find, you know, horrific or scary. And, uh... I've always admired that about them. Um, Charles Adam, the creator of the original comic strips, I'm not sure if that's what he necessarily intended was the message behind the Adams, but I've always, they're like my heroes. <laughs> For fictional characters, they're my heroes. I forget what the Latin um, the Latin is for their family motto, but it translates to, we would gladly feast on those who would subdue us. <laughs> yeah, I definitely think I'm going to give him mom's, uh, mom's contact. Which, for those who don't play The Binding of Isaac, it's, um, over his, uh, right, his right eye, our left I, uh, his, um, it's like a big bloody <laughs> bulging eye. It'll add some nice color though, um, and a little bit of contrast between the symmetry. <laughs> I 
This is where his penis will be. Just the top part. Should never be scared of drawing penises. <laughs> In my next comic, uh, Silk Water, I have a character, a male character, who runs around naked a lot. Though it's not meant to be sexual, it's just, he's naked, like Isaac. <laughs> it's just how it is. You should never be scared to draw or normalize nudity. Because it is. It's normal. It's perfectly normal. Why can't I... Oh, that's right. It's, <laughs> it's going to have a meltdown. Let's do that. He looks very strange without a nose. I think I might be giving him one. I don't know. It. You know what? I'll let you guys... You guys tell me nose or no nose. Because he kind of looks a little... You know what? Here, I'll paint a nose on. Or something... resembling a nose because right now he looks almost like alien or fish like or something I'm not even sure how I would how I would uh, define what he looks like without a nose oh you know what his mouth is kind of upside down I, I actually drew him And actually that version does make sense, like the the game sprite makes sense that way because you're looking down on him so you would be able to see his bottom jaw, not his upper one. So let us, let us fix that. There we go. I actually think he looks good with a nose um, now that I've painted one on. I'm going to leave it for now, but you know, if you guys are grossly, majoritively, is that a word, majoritively, opposed to the nose, I will remove it. So if any of you guys are not shy like me, <laughs> and talk to Pause and Pause, tell him I'm dedicating this fan art of, of um, Isaac to him. What am I doing? I don't know. I was just, you know, I'm working on his belly right now, trying to figure out where the shading's gonna be, but I always um, bitch about this to anybody who will listen, but um, a lot of you know I write a webcomic about aliens, and there's one alien named Pigment that I drew and put some early concept art of her up online like years and years ago, back before the comic was like really getting off the ground and stuff, and the drawing just happened to show her with a really weird distended gut, and I didn't really comment on why she looked like that or anything, and years later I was just... I can't remember what I was doing, but I ended up on Above Top Secret, which is like a forum for people who are into like UFO and alien studies and things like that. And uh, my art was up of this, this sketch I had done of Pigment, the alien, the gray alien, um, with this distended belly. And somebody was claiming that I was actually an alien abductee, and this was my drawing of the alien that was abducting me. And that he, which annoyed me because it's a female alien, he, um, that I was like deeply disturbed by my experiences and that in actuality I was like imagining her to look like an Ethiopian child who had like a distended gut or something. Oh man, I was so mad because it was, first of all, above top secret. Their big thing is all about like, you know, misinformation from the government and yada, yada, yada. And here they are reappropriating my concept art for my my webcomic and saying that I'm an alien abductee <laughs> and 
And I was so annoyed by it. I was just like, I I never got around to like correcting them or going on the, the form because the thread was so old and I didn't really want to like bank the flames, I guess, get it all startled up or started up again. But I hate that. I hate when my art is taken <sighs> and like people don't know where it's from and they just start making comments about it. Um, I was just thinking, sorry. Actually, I think his arms would be a lot. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm debating here. Let's, I think I've made him too long. <laughs> I think he should be a little shorter. This is going to look weird for a minute. There we go, looks good. You know who he kind of looks like? He looks like uh, the Avatar. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. And we're gonna crop this down quite a bit. Our center right there. I'm using that little um, crosshair to figure out where my center is, which would be like right about in there. It's not perfectly center, but it's pretty good. There we go. I realized I made his torso just a little too long in the initial sketching, so we'll just clean that up a little bit. Um, another example of my art being misappropriated was um, I I did a um, if any of you played I'm sure you have um, not Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door it was I think it was just like Super Paper Mario right for the um, was it the Wii or the GameCube no it had to be the GameCube because I got my Wii when I got married so um, but anyway, there was a little helper pixel named Tippy in it, and Tippy turns into a, a princess, or was a princess at the end of the game. Spoiler! And um, I did a drawing of her mimicking the kind of sprite style from the game. And people started taking it and putting it on, like, Paper Mario wikis and saying that you could like unlock her like that at the end and like we're putting her in videos and shit. God, that pissed me off. Like, I am actually less annoyed when people just take my art and like use it for like their YouTube backgrounds or as icons or whatever. I, that in fact, that doesn't bother me at all, especially if they're like fans of my, my comic and they just like want to use my characters as icons or whatever. What annoys me is if they take my art and then say something like, this is from such and such video game, and uh, you can unlock her, or this is an alien, a real alien, you know, or something like that. That really bugs me. Nothing bothers me than people not doing their homework, I should say. Like, not researching where the work comes from. Now, I know you guys are probably like, I mean, put the rest of the accessories on, but uh, I want to finish kind of getting this all shaded out before I start adding stuff. His arms just feel so long to me, you know, like, and not because I'm using his wraps where he's just got, like, little, little, little meat arms, but just in general. 